this video, I'm going to show you how to set up PayPal payments on WooCommerce. As you can see, this is my WordPress website. And on this uh, account, I don't have the PayPal payments set up. As you can see here, when you go to WooCommerce and then go to settings, so hit settings, and then you want to go to payments over here and it's going to load and as you can see here here are all the available payment methods for for woocommerce and the last one is paypal so what you want to do is you want to enable this and now paypal uh, people on your website can pay with paypal and now you have to set it up that you actually can get paid as you can see this is how it looks uh, right now and here you want to enter in your PayPal email. So if this is by default your um, WordPress email and it's not the same as your PayPal email, you want to change this first. So change this to your own email. Now I've changed it to my PayPal email, as you can see. And now you want to go down to the advanced options. So PayPal sandbox, you don't have to uh, take this. You can leave it like this. Uh, you can leave leave the debug log like this as well and now you have to uh, put the receiver email as well and that will be the same email as you set up for the paypal email because this is where, where the money will be sent to and also if you want to set up paypal payments you need to have a business paypal account so make sure you have a business paypal account now you want to go and open up a new tab and go to paypal just type it in paypal.com and then sign into your account and uh, you maybe have to verify it that it's real i'm going to um, select show you what to do on paypal as you can see this is um, just how it looks on your business account of paypal so now you want to go to your name over here and then go to account settings so you want to go to account settings and as you can see here, here are all these options. So now you want to go down to see products and services and go to website payments. You want to go to website payments and then find for the API access. So here is the API access, manage API credentials to integrate your PayPal account with your online store or shopping cart. So this is what you want. Now you want to hit update and here are the API keys of your account. So this is where it gets very confusing. So how to set up PayPal on your website. So if you want to use it on your WordPress website, you will be using the NVP SOAP API integration. So the classic one, you don't want to use the pre-built one or the uh, Brain Braintree SDK integration, but this one. Then you want to hit manage API credentials and this will bring you over to the API credentials of your PayPal account. So make sure you don't share this with anyone. So you have to select this one over here, then hit agree and submit. And this will bring you over to the API username, password and signature. Uh, you can hit show and then you want to copy all of these because when you go to WooCommerce, let me split screen this actually, just like this. And um, you can see it like this. When you go down over here, you can see the API credentials that you need to fill in on your WooCommerce store. So you want to make sure to copy all of the API keys. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to copy all of these, just like this, the username. You want to put it in here and then the password and then copy. And you want to put it in here and same with the signature. That's a long code. And you want to put it down here. Then you want to make sure to save it. So save it for now. And then you successfully set up the API keys to your WooCommerce website. And when you go down, as you can see, it's updated right now. And now when you go up, you can see IPN email notifications. So basically what this is, is that the uh, PayPal will get a notification uh, every time a payment is made and you want to make sure that this is enabled and you have to do something for this as well. So make sure this is enabled. Then you want to go to PayPal again and go to your profile picture again and hit account settings. And now when you go down, go to the same one, pay website payments. And now you want to find the um, instant payment notifications over here. Integrate PayPal payment notification to your website. You want to hit update as well. 
And as you can see here, you can choose the IP and settings of the notifications on PayPal. And here you can put in the link uh, that you uh, have to use. So I'm going to put the link in the description that you have to use. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. So this is the link you want to use. It is um, example.com slash the uh, WC gateway PayPal. I will put this link down in the description below so you can um, just copy it and then enter in your domain for example.com. So you want to copy it, put it in here and then go to your website and copy your own domain. That's very important. And then put it in here. As you can see now it's changed to my own domain and you want to hit receive IPN message enable and then hit save. Now you also enabled IPN uh, settings for your um, PayPal payments. So this is great and we can head over to the next thing. So now you want to go back again to your profile, then hit account settings and again go to website payments because you have to do one last thing. You want to go to website preferences and you want to bring the customers back to your own website to like the thank you page of your own website and you want to set it up as well. And now you want to make sure you put auto return on and as you can see here you can put in the return uh, URL. So what this basically does is when you um, completed a payment you will always be redirected to the website. So I'm going to show you the example return URL right now. And as you can see, this is the return URL. It's HTTPS um, checkout order received. So you want to copy this, put it in here and then change the domain again to your own domain. So this is my domain. Just put it in here, make sure it's right. And then you want to hit save. And now you enabled auto return on your website was as well. And this is also very important to do. And when you set this up, you can go down to, to you see payment data transfer. And as you can see here is the identity token. So you want to copy this token because this is also very important for the return URL of your PayPal account. Then go to your uh, WooCommerce website over here. And then as you can see under the receiver email, it says PayPal identity token. You want to put this in and now you set this up as well. That's great. And here is the invoice prefix that doesn't really matter. You can just leave it like this. Then in shipping details, I just use this. Send shipping details to PayPal instead of billing. I uh, like to leave it like this. Then the payment action, you want to make sure to... Uh, you put it on capture just leave it like this you can change the page style as well uh, as well you can change the page style if you want over here for the checkout page but that doesn't really matter and you can put a url in so when you go to the um checkout page of paypal so i can show you that actually as you can see on this website, so this is just an example website, this image uh, up here is the logo of the website. And when you go to your settings again, as you can see right here, uh, you can just put the link of the image in this. And that's basically, and that's basically the picture uh, of the PayPal payment. So if you like that, you can do that, but it's not necessary. And now I'm going to show you how it looks when you buy something on your website with PayPal. So as you can see, this is just a dummy product, product, but I'm going to show you how it works. You can hit add to cart and then you can hit view the cart. And now you can hit proceed to checkout. And as you can see, this is how your checkout page will look like. And here it says pay with PayPal. You can pay with your credit card if you don't have a PayPal account. And this is exactly the text that is over here. As you can see, this is the description. Pay with PayPal. You can pay with your credit card if you don't have a PayPal account. And if you want to change that text, you can just type something else here. And that's the text that will come here. This is the PayPal uh, text and it also says what is PayPal. So if someone hits what is PayPal, it will bring them over to the PayPal website. So that's great as well. And this is basically it. Now you can successfully receive PayPal orders and get money into your PayPal account. This is everything that's necessary to receive PayPal payments. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Bye.